It's not often that you get to introduce a rock star. Bill Clinton, we all know, was our 42nd precinct president of the United States. But I want you to I want you to think of something. You know, presidents have a tough life, and he did it for us for eight years extraordinarily well and did so much for our nation. But you talk about an afterlife and you never seen anything like this. This is probably the most important person, most visible person in the world who continues to bring value to the world in everything he does every single day. <laughs> Folks, if you don't follow the, the Clinton Global Initiative, President Clinton every day is making this world a safer, healthier, more secure place for us. That's our president doing that for the world. Ladies and gentlemen, a real warm Arizona welcome, President Bill Clinton! Mostly I want to thank Dr. Richard Carmona for running for the United States Senate. in America without regard to party who is more needed at this moment in our history in the U.S. Senate by virtue of his biography which you just heard by virtue of his record by virtue of his philosophy look folks I think the Democrats should have a good claim on this collection, and I made my case for that in Charlotte. There are, there are since President Kennedy took office in 52 years, the Republicans had the White House 28 years, we had it 24. 66 million new jobs. What's the score? Democrats 42, Republicans 24. But the most important thing is, I watched that debt clock running up at the Republican convention. And I heard all that talk in the last debate. Now, in those 51 years, there have been exactly five surpluses run. What's the score? Democrats five, Republicans zero. And so, I say that because I got a lot of Republican friends who care about the debt, and I got a lot of Republican friends who want to invest in education and I have a lot of Republican friends who are not anti-immigration. We're just talking about who's in control of their machine right now. And I was honored when this man, a lifelong independent, decided he would run on our party's ticket for the United States Senate, not because I thought he would be a party line man down the line, but because I thought he believed in the fundamental things that matter today. And here they are. Shared prosperity is better than trickle down economics. A philosophy that says we're all in this together, that's what the GI Bill was all about, is better than you're on your own. Yeah. If we had left him behind when he dropped out of high school, if we had let him serve our country in Vietnam and dodge all those bullets and if he got a Purple Heart, he didn't dodge them all. <laughs> and let him come home to nothing, this would be a poorer country. Every life we let go makes the rest of us poorer. And the more we expand opportunity for everybody, the more we build a great middle-class country for the 21st century, the more we give poor people a dignified, honorable chance to work their way into it, the more millionaires and billionaires there'll be. And the final thing I want to say, and that's why I was glad to see all a fair number of Republicans come out for Rich, is that 
In every successful country on earth today, there is a recognition that we face a blithering array of complex challenges. And in an environment like that, creative cooperation beats constant conflict every single time. We got whole networks devoted to trying to make you miserable every single day of your life. Just keep you torn up and upset all the time. You're laughing, but you know I'm telling the truth, don't you? And yet, who wants to live like that? And what good can come of it? Look, we're in this boat together, and we got to row. The reason the DREAM Act is the right thing to do... Yeah! ...is an answer with two parts. Yeah, there are a lot of Richard Carmonas out there today, and they all deserve their chance at their dreams. But second reason is, this is a big, complicated world. And one of America's great advantages is that we got somebody here from everywhere. And because of the immigrants, we are younger than Europe. We are younger than Japan. And believe it or not, within 20 years, we'll be younger than China. And I'm telling you something, folks. Having lost it, I can tell you, youth matters. I'll tell you another reason you ought to vote for him. Because he's a veteran with a purple heart. And because this country has 300,000 people who came home after serving their country in Iraq or Afghanistan, who probably would have died in a previous war because battlefield medicine is so much better. But in, they were injured primarily by what we call roadside bombs and what people in the service call IEDs, improvised explosive devices. And when they explode and don't kill you, they still shake your brain around. So we have literally hundreds of thousands of young Americans with traumatic brain injuries of varying degrees of severity. They have to be taken care of. When all these people say they want to give me a tax cut and they're going to adopt the Congressman Ryan's budget, I don't know what's going to happen to those veterans, but I'll tell you something. They put it on the line for us. I'm glad they survived. Now we got to make sure they get a chance to thrive. And that's another reason that Rich Carmona ought to be the United States Senator. In every single international scientific study, the United States of America ranks first or second in the world in the capacity to generate electricity from the sun and the wind. Everyone. But a lot of countries are doing better than us. On a sunny spring day earlier this year in Germany, where the sun shines on average as much as it does in London, <laughs> they nevertheless generated 66 gigawatts of electricity from the sun. The equivalent of 20 nuclear power plants running flat out. <laughs> Germany is one third our size. Their sunshine efficiency is about half hours. Deutsche Bank, a bank, said they've netted 300,000 new jobs out of their program, and if we adopted it, we would get two million if we just had the German system. But we already have, with much more limited support, 100,000 people working in solar in America. That's more people than we have working in the coal industry, more people than we have working in the steel industry. And his opponent and their nominee for president want to get rid of the elemental supports that are going to bring America to the forefront of this, give us a new modern economy, and stop the climate from burning up and compromising your future. You've got to elect Rich Carmona to send the right signal on that. I would like to have a medical doctor in the United States Senate who understood health care at home and the national security implications of biological and chemical warfare, and I think you should too. really should have anything to do with party. It only has to do with party because of the extremism which has taken control of the other side. And I think sort of has a chokehold which has the 
any chokehold has the adverse effect of cutting off oxygen to the brain. <laughs> now, we're having a good time here, but this is really serious. You just remember, I've been doing this a long time. I travel the world. I see the most successful societies on earth. Everywhere that's working, creative cooperation is dominant over constant conflict. Everywhere that's working, we're all in this together, prompts you're on your own. Everywhere that's working, shared prosperity is preferred over trickle down. This is not a closed question. It is not about Republicans and Democrats and independents. It's about what really matters when it's all said and done. For those of us who have more yesterdays than tomorrows, I can tell you right now what really matters to me. The only thing that matters are people better off when you quit than when you started. The children have a brighter future. And are things coming together or being torn apart? If you want to be better off when you quit than when you started, if you want the young people to have a brighter future, if you want America to come together and not be torn apart, you can do something about it in Arizona. You can send Rich Carmona to the United States Senate.